Calvus Flump! <gasps> Do you like the meat shield of having pets, but you also want to be a mage and cast powerful spells? Then the Eldritch Necro is probably right up your alley. With the increase in refund cap and spell damage and all these awesome things that came with Wildlands, this template is a force to be reckoned with. So sit back, grab your spell book and a beer, and let's talk about it. All right, let's jump into the template. Necromancy at 120. Necromancy is going to give us pets that do more damage, corpse skin, which is vital due to a new link that we're gonna discuss soon, as well as mind rot. Both corpse skin and mind rot should be on auto, which you can do by hitting the little gray button there. Pain spike is another ability that is S tier. Using the corpses of our enemies to trigger an area effect of damage to creatures nearby. Next is eval at 100. Our main damage is spell, so we definitely want 100 eval. Inscription at 100. Yeah, I know, you're questioning the 20, and this would fluctuate depending on your Eldritch level. We need 125 inscription to not consume level 7 and 8 scrolls. At Eldritch tier 10, we get 26 effective inscription and spirit speak, putting us at 126 inscription. If you're lower Eldritch, you may have to adjust accordingly and grab some links if you have the open chains and extra cash. Inscription is such a powerful skill, and with the bracket auto use spell scrolls command, it makes it a breeze. This command does what it says. When you cast, it will automatically use spell scrolls in your bag. Inscription was buffed in Wildlands, giving it this formula here to damage against creatures. It gives us longer duration buffs, better reactive armor and magic reflection, as well as making it more difficult for creatures to interrupt our spells. Next up is Majory at 100. This one should be a no-brainer. So yeah, 100 Majory. Focus at 100. I've said it in previous videos and I'll say it here too, Focus is just so, so strong. This template focuses on refunds as well as spell damage. So the increased critical hit chance for our spells mana refund chance, as well as a refund cap, is needed. All of these receive a 15% bonus at 100 focus. Let's do Spirit Speak at 80. Once again, at tier 10 Eldritch, we're gonna get 26 effective Spirit Speak, putting us at 106. Our pets aren't super strong, but they aren't super weak either. They're definitely strong enough to fend off monsters as we sit back in the back of the line, casting damage from afar. Keep in mind, we need a minimum of 80 in order to use the Summoner's Tome. Meditation at 70. Through testing, we had a 72.5% refund chance. Wow. Using an exceedingly book with our cap being 74.5%. 70 meditation is almost more than enough meditation for this template. The passive mana regeneration with food and this definitely helped. Wrestling at 50. Wrestling helps us from being interrupted but it also increases our mana refund chance. Now we don't want to get it too high because once we hit cap, then it's just kind of a waste and we're already pretty much at cap. So 50 is good enough. And now a really important side note. If you're not tier 10 Eldritch, Necromancy is a good skill to reduce to get the higher inscription. Even with the auto use spell scrolls command, some just don't want to manage scrolls. And if that's the case for you, switch out inscription for tracking for a PK radar. Get some camping to carry more, both of which will give a damage increase to your spells as well, but just not as much as Inscription. And I'll say it again, the auto use spell scrolls command just makes this a breeze and you make your own scrolls. I, I just, it, it, it also the scrolls are in the shelf. I don't know, to me it just seems like a no brainer, but I know there was a little bit of hate on Inscription in the last video with it. All right, let's talk about Aspect. It's in the title, but Eldritch Armor. Eldritch will give us effective spirit speak and inscription for six on activation, and then two more for each tier. Tier 10 Eldritch gives us 26 spirit speak as well as 26 inscription. Another cool feature is Eldritch gives us 2% higher on activation and 0.75% mana refund cap every tier. Again, we can just adjust what book we are using based on the tier of Eldritch we are. Another cool feature is the more mana we use in a 30 second period, the more our damage spells will do. 
2.5% more on activation and 0.75% per tier. And as far as aspect for the book, those mana wells are just so good. So yeah, let's go with Eldritch. As far as the wizard grimoire, six points in create food. It's not often we run out of mana due to our high refund chance, but create food gives us a magic mushroom that we can use every 60 seconds that acts as a mana potion. Six points on magic arrow. Every 20 seconds we can cast a magic arrow for 300% increased damage. Six points in harm. Every 20 seconds we can cast harm for 200% increased damage. Two points in fireball. Every 60 seconds we can cast fireball for 300% more damage and a damage over time burn effect. Lightning for nine points. Not only will lightning have its damage increased by 200%, but it also hinders the target for three seconds. And we can cast this every 20 seconds. Nine points in curse. This gives us 25% more damage towards the target for the next 60 seconds. So we would start our attacks with this spell. 12 points in flame strike. Whatever damage we do to the target, there will be an additional 35% done in a damage over time effect over the next 15 seconds. Talking about the summoner's tomb and pets in general, usually I go one mummy, one lich, and one summoned creature. Here are the way I have them specced out. The mummy tends to be situational on the content though, but uh, feel free to pause the video and look at what I got and copy it or post in the comments what you're doing for yours. Onto the mastery chain, Wildlands introduce damage to diseased creatures links. These bad boys are juicy for every necro. Corpse skin from necro is put on auto cast and is what diseases the target to make these bad boys kick in. The more of these you get, the more damage you'll see done to the target. Spell aspect chance to proc more often and spell aspect modifier to have juicier mana wells and do more damage from the proc. The links that you see here are the links that we tested this end. If you have more open and you've got more of these links, you're just going to be a powerhouse. Same for the aspect, we obviously tested it in tier 10 Eldritch. This template's a pretty basic Eldritch Necromancer Summoner, but with the mana refund caps being so much higher now, thanks to Focus, Eldritch having the changes that it had, and just the fun that I've found recently from using Inscription, I felt like this was a perfect time to go ahead and do this video. Also, as stated, the higher your Eldritch goes, the lower you can actually put your Inscription. So it just frees up even more skill points. There's just so much here that you can actually play with based on the mastery chain links open that you have, as well as how high your Eldritch goes. Shout out to the Patreons, the channel members, and you for liking this video as it helps for discoverability for myself, but more importantly, you owe Outlands and my fellow streamers. Speaking of streaming, make sure you come by the live streams most evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube, Twitch, Kick, Twitter, and Facebook. Make sure and comment below what a template video that you'd like to see or just some type of new Wildlands content. Other than that, guys, I'll see you next time. Pwn Star Gaming out. Oh, boss, mom. Boss, oh.